Back here on the Bison Video Blog, our summer video series is underway as we look at the top five breakthrough players for North Dakota State football in 2017. Number four, Jeff Kolpak, we're going into the secondary, a spot where NDSU has a ton of experience back on the back end at safety. We're focusing on cornerback and Dom Davis, a sophomore coming up in 2017, got on the field a bit last season. Made 29 tackles. His playing time certainly increased, Jeff, as the season went along. He was a critical guy coming into the FCS playoff route, and I think that role is going to be even more accentuated here in 2017. Well, it appears he'll be slotted as a nickelback. And what is that nickelback? It's that guy that's an extra defensive back that comes in in passing situations. And he's no longer a backup corner. A nickelback, essentially, when you play a lot of these spread teams, you're a starting yeah. player because you're going to be in there a lot. We'll find out. We'll find out about Dom Davis, the second game of the year against Eastern Washington, <laughs> because you know they're going to spread it out. Yep. You know they're going to throw the ball all over the place, and you know number 35 is going to have to be in the game, along with the two starting cornerbacks. What do you make of what you saw out of him last year? I thought he made tackles as the season went along. I thought he got more confident. He told me that uh, during spring football, that the game started to slow down for him, and he knew where he was supposed to be. I thought during the FCS playoffs, granted, I don't know if any of the defensive players would say against James Madison that they played well, but the prior two games against San Diego and South Dakota State, I thought Davis was really good out there. you got to remember when Dom Davis was recruited out of Bellevue, Illinois, he came in as one of the fastest guys in that class yep. and regarded as one of the fastest guys in that area, and that's a Pierre G. That's G. Pierre G. Tucker area. So there's school. some athletic yep. ability there, and there's some players that come out of there. But now you have to take that speed and you have to play fast. I mean, you can no longer just be fast and don't know what's going on. Then you're playing slow, if that means. Yeah. <laughs> that means the game's got to slow down right. for him mentally so he can use that speed appropriately. You, you and I debated this during the spring about the other cornerback spot. Jalen Ellison, we know, he's the lockdown guy. Jalen Wimbush played corner, but he may have, I, I think he played hurt last year and maybe out of position. Is this a spot where, do you think Don Davis can be the other corner or have they got that earmark for he's got either that Wimbush or somebody else? Of course, he, he's got that experience now, I think, and he can do that spot. But I think they like to specialize him. And when you specialize, that means you probably have a better idea. You go into the game mentally knowing what to do. You look at film during the week, thinking you're the nickel back. You're looking at passing situations. You're looking at formations. And I think you have a better idea of what you want to do in that situation. You're narrowing it down a little bit, I think, for him. This is another guy, young guy, but granted, you mentioned it earlier. Now his third year in the program, he's going to be a redshirt sophomore uh, upcoming here in 2017. By that time, as we were just mentioning with Zach Johnson uh, on Monday, that's the spot where, okay, things, you better, it's either going to click or it's not by the time you're here, right? You would think he'd have maybe a better shot at some interceptions this year. Mm. He had zero picks last year. 29 tackles, and that's a pretty good, decent yep. amount. Uh, shows that he's a somewhat physical player and can hang in there. But you got to have a couple picks, I think, at the nickelback spot. See, that's an interesting question you bring up because the safety positions, I thought, hogged all the picks last year between Grimsley and Dempsey. They had a ton of interceptions last year. But where, you're more of a safety where Allison, spot. Allison yeah. didn't have his money. That, I guess I don't know if that's... Well, reflective I, of the corners or not. Well, I think it, with the nickel back, right? I think yeah. it gives you a little more advantage. It's time to read a defense or read an offense and, and pick one off. Chris Kleiman was very effusive in his praise of Davis as the season went along mm -hmm. last year. That's a guy on the back end of the defense that is going to get more reps once uh, September 2nd comes around against Mississippi Valley State. And you mentioned, I think you hit the nail right on the head. Eastern. Eastern Washington in game two out there in Cheney with Gubrud. And I know the, the Eagles lost a lot of their wide receivers. They're still going to, they always seem to find guys that can catch the football and a guy who can sling it around. And they've got that in Gubrud. So there's Dom Davis. He's number four on our breakthrough guys to watch for 2017.